Former President Donald Trump pleaded the fifth while questioned in connection to a civil investigation by the New York Attorney General's office into alleged fraud by his organization. This comes after the FBI executed a search warrant on Trump's Florida home in a separate investigation. Dre Clark joins us now with the latest update on those two things. Good morning, Dre. Mitch, good morning. Former President Trump spent most of his day sitting across the table from the New York State Attorney General there. He actually invoked his Fifth Amendment right more than 400 times there. But Trump also said that he believes what's happening here is a witch hunt. Meanwhile, Trump says the raid on his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida was a surprise attack. He claims he and his legal team had been in contact and cooperating with the Justice Department and the FBI since June. So he says there's no reason why he should have been targeted in a raid. Now, sources say the raid was related to the recovery of classified documents that former President Trump may have taken with him when he left the White House in 2021. Earlier this year, the National Archives and Records Administration recovered 15 boxes of documents that ended up at Trump's Florida estate. Trump claims the boxes were mistakenly taken to his estate and he planned to return any classified materials. But now Newsweek magazine is reporting that according to two government officials from familiar with the investigation, an informant told the FBI where Trump was hiding classified documents at his estate. The FBI was able to get a judge to sign off on the search warrant last week, and agents waited until Trump was either in New Jersey or New York City to execute that search warrant on Monday morning. Twelve boxes of information was reportedly covered there at Mar-a-Lago. Bill Arkin is a senior editor at Newsweek magazine. He's been following Trump since 2015. And he says it was his well-placed government sources that told him the raid was not a fishing expedition, but rather agents knew exactly what they were looking for. And again, I want to stress for the listeners and viewers that his own attorneys had to sign off on what they were taking. So it's not like they can't plant anything because they, right there on the scene, was were watching what the FBI was doing. So I, I, I don't think that it's possible for there to have been a plant. But having said that, that doesn't mean it's not possible for Donald Trump to claim that there was. Now, Trump had this to say on his social media site, Truth Social. He said in early June, the DOJ and FBI asked my legal representatives to put an extra lock on the door leading to the place where boxes were stored in Mar-a-Lago. We agreed. They were shown the secured area and the boxes themselves. Then on Monday, without notification or warning, an army of agents broke into Mar-a-Lago, went to the same storage area, and ripped open the lock that they had asked to be installed. It was a surprise attack. Now, if it's determined that Trump was intentionally hiding classified documents, it would be considered a criminal violation of the Presidential Records Act, which is a federal law that requires all materials written by the president to be archived, anything professional, that is. The penalty includes prison time, a fine, and you can be disqualified from holding office. Mitch? That's Trey Clark, live in New York this morning for us. Thank you, Trey. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.